Here's how to create a Word document on your iPhone. Now, if you're on your iPhone and you wanted to create a new Word document so that you can then print it or email it, send it to somebody, I'll walk you through the entire process. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, let's head into the App Store here on your iPhone. And there are a couple of different options. Of course, you can just type in Word. And on here, you can download and install Microsoft Word. Of course, Word is created by Microsoft. But keep in mind, if you scroll down here, they are going to ask you to sign up for Microsoft 365, which is a subscription. And keep in mind, they do gatekeep some features and their limited functionality of Word without basically paying for that subscription. However, there's a free option that works just as well, and I would recommend it. Basically, go to Google Docs and search for that. And just download and install Google Docs. It's the Google version of Microsoft Word. After you've done that, you can tap on it here and open it up. You're going to log into your account. And when you're ready to create that new Word document, you're going to tap the little plus at the bottom right and hit New Document. I can name this test and on here, I'm going to just say, hi, this is a test. Now, when you're good to go and you wanted to save this as a Word document, maybe share it or basically make a collaboration or allow someone else to edit it, any of that, you can tap the three dots at the top, right? And now you'll be able to see under details is share and export. Even though that Google Docs native format is not the Word format, you can also choose to save as Word. Right above make a copy, tap on that, and essentially it will save it as a Microsoft Word file. So you'll be able to go back here, and you can see here it is test.docx, which is the new Microsoft Word format. And of course on here you can tap the three dots, you can choose to share this, you can print it, you can send it as an email, send it as a copy or a link to it. You have a bunch of different options on managing it now that you've created your own basically Microsoft Word document on your iPhone. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks guys.